What's the responsibility of President Donald Trump for last week's violence? Tonight on The Rant, you're talking about it. Also here on The Rant Line, one viewer is giving a story about the mail and some of the very late arrivals from the holidays now coming in. And the UK basketball team kneeling during the national anthem over the weekend. Opinions are really strong on what you saw and how you feel about it, especially with a home game in Rupp Arena tonight. But first here on The Rant Line, more on the president. Nobody wants to get rid of him more than I do. But he's only got nine more days. Let's focus on everything else we've got going on right now. We've got domestic terrorism. We've got COVID-19. We've got an economy in tatters. He did not incite this. It was his right to have freedom of speech, but he did not tell them to break the law. Hey there, I'm a combat veteran from Vietnam, and uh, I thought I was fighting for the freedom of people to uh, protest. These kids that at Kentucky did nothing wrong. Because they are young black men because they want to be treated just like everyone else. If you're upset about that, you need to examine your heart, especially if you're not upset about what happened on Wednesday at the Capitol. And we just got a Christmas card today, January 11th. It was postmarked December 17th from Glasgow, Kentucky. So uh, obviously they missed Christmas. Now, the rest of the rant on the UK basketball team, Vivian and Louisville, totally disrespectful of all the military men and women who have fought for our freedom. You want to be treated equal. Give me a break. These young men are treated like royalty. Coach Cal, shame on you for allowing this. You want to play in an empty arena? Keep kneeling. Cressy in Jefferson Town, beautiful. The brave men and women fought for this country so that you could have the right to kneel and freedom of speech. I appreciate the peaceful kneeling. Pop in Hardin County, people died so this bunch of disrespectful young men could do this without fear. They are absolutely clueless of the cost, the blood of true Americans, and the flag they fought for. I'm done with Kentucky basketball. Tracy in Clark County, Indiana, UK games will not be watched on my TV ever again. You play basketball every day for your education is being paid for by someone else's money. Angela in Shelbyville, actually veterans fought so that we could kneel. If you don't like democratic freedoms, then go live in Russia. UK plays Alabama tonight at Rupp Arena in Lexington. By the way, you should know that for most of the season, the Kentucky team has not been out on the floor during the national anthem this season, and actually for the past few seasons as well. They have always been in the wings of Rupp Arena, not visible to fans. The team was on the floor and stood during the national anthem for the UK UofL game in December held at the KFC Yum Center. Here's how you can rant tonight. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can use Twitter at whas 11 Doug. Keep your emails coming to the rant at whas 11com I read every single one of them, and the toll-free rant line is open at 855-749-1101.